Hello folks and welcome back to No Man Science and we've got a jam packed month ahead of us. We got our new fields, our mega field over there to be mulched, fertilized and seeded. We've got the mower set up, ready to go on this plot land over here that we bought in the last episode. Plot 57. And we've done a bit of timber work off camera so we'll have a look at that in a sec. But yeah, so we're in August, so we need to plant some crops. And we're going to do canola on our mega field. Then when we harvest that in the next year, we can do either wheat or barley. I'm going to get in now. So that then just gives us a window to get things grown and... Well, not get things grown, but obviously between harvest and the next seeding session in September of next year. I say if we don't do canola again, it depends on if we do canola oil or not. That grass field over there, our plan for that is to get that field up, hopefully can try to get it done today, because so I want that ploughed up, plant grass in now, so if we plant it in August, it'll be ready in October. And then it should be ready in April, I think. If that's the case, then we can do either potatoes or sugar beet. Yeah, I think for the, yeah, I think we could do potatoes. Do a, a batch of silage because potatoes that's ready to harvest in September if we plant it in April. And in September, plant grass. Yeah, that'll be ready to cut in November. Leave it, and then we can go on to sugar beets. That's our plan at least. It may change. Chances are it will change. You never know. But anyway, let's head to the John Deere. Because, in between episodes, we've got a full timber load of log. A lot of them are small trees. However, we did cut some big trees down here right up to the property line here I haven't done anything on this side yet we'll save that for more in-game on-camera footage but yeah so this in theory should help us a lot I know we said we're going to cut those trees up there but whilst I was clearing this up I thought you know what heck it why not and it's reasonably stacked, so hopefully should be alright. Apologies there, just turning the my fan off because I think he was picking up a bit in the mic, so... So, hopefully this doesn't tip. There we go. This is going to fill up the sawmill, and we're going to have timber left over. Depending on how much timber we've got left over, and how messy it's going to be when it all unstraps. We may decide to sell the rest of it. I'm not too sure, but I slightly went into the crop there, and I did not leave myself a lot of room here. But I'll try to get a lot of this sold because, as you may see, I'm having some frame issues. And I swear, when we've done like I've done bigger things like on comms and farms, I've had lots of stuff. Use all the sort cams up to the max and that, and I swear I didn't have this frame issue before, so yeah, I'm not sure on that. So that's still some trees there. So you know what? Actually, it may f maybe worth just setting this up, and we'll sell it get a bit of income in because I do want to see how much we can get oh, not into the field oh, we was alright then I sort of stopped and then cranked it again and that what messed us up there but yeah if we can get a decent amount of money for these trees that are left over perhaps maybe worth getting a new cedar in the one I want is about 140 grand, 140 or 155. So I have to go for the Valdestrad one. It's on transport mode, alright. 
There we go. Happy. That should be fine. So, I think first of all, what we shall do is the mulching. Get rid of that. Because, yeah, I think how much would be for the oil refinery? If we decide to do canoe oil. Have a look, oil mill. 80 grand. Ugh. I think it's just all our money. It's, just, it's all about investment. We will get that money back, and the amount of size we're going to be doing in the next coming months, definitely worth it. So let's get this unfolded. We left the bailer over there. Only because Ozzy really makes silage in this episode, so there ain't no point putting it away and that and then getting back getting back out, so there we go, we're mulching at twenty five or well, twenty ish miles an hour. If I go a bit wide, I was gonna get the worker to do that. Cause that should be right out of the shop. Um, best place to sell wood at the moment is well, pretty much. Wait, wait. Sell everything container. Yeah, different prices for obviously the two sawmills we got, but nope, not saying there. And uh, it's a reasonable more amount. So there we go. How much are we going to get? I mean, I get all of it in one go. That's 16 grand there. And for this much, only a grand. Bit unusual, but. So. Yeah, a decent amount, especially if it was only a small amount of timber left over compared to. What went into the sawmill? Try to back this up into the shop. And I'll just crank it around and just get these last few bits. Worst case scenario, we'll just chuck it on. There we go, 684 quid, so. 104 grand now. Need another 40 or so grand for the one we want in terms of our cedar and that. Which is the Great Plains one. I could do everything. 142 grand, 18 meters. This one is also very good. And it can do sugarcane. So that is 8 meters at 11 miles an hour. And that one is. 18 and a half or 80.2 meters at 9 miles an hour. What about these other ones? Hmm. Well, so when you get something together. But yeah, I think by the time we go and plant the sugar beet and that, so we're going to have enough money, anyways, to buy one, anyways, regardless. So don't need to rush and get one now. I'll just set that, let's go to what's go to there. There we go. So that is cracking along the way. Then once that returns, we'll get a hook up to the fertilizer. Get that field fertilized. And I'll get the worker to do that whilst we go and do the mowing because the worker can't mow this field yet, because obviously it's just a meadow grass field. And not, you know, a full on field. And perhaps we'll start looking at getting a pa some paving in. Actually, that's if we can. Can we even go to here? Not really, without kind of that field, so. 
But yeah, you just have something going up, connect that up. Just to have that di diversion, that little divide in between these plots of land. And in terms of how or if we're going to divide this up, I think we could do, you know, a top and a lower section. So rather than do, so let's say the top half could be one crop and the bottom half could be another crop at some point. I'm not too sure on that yet, but we'll see how it goes. Still got a bit of waste before we'll proper do anything. Okay, that's moving. And that's working. Let's get right up close. Actually, what? Rooker's motion actually quite well, aren't you? So, if that's the case, then, we're at the John Deere. We'll fertilize first. Then, when we seed, that in theory should just about fully fertilize that field without, without having to do any more. But again, I ain't making any promises on that because you know how it goes sometimes where, like in the past, when we last fertilized this field and that with the cedar and that after the grass meadow, or after it was a grass field, it was even spots of unfertilized bits. So. Whilst I'm holding my breath in that, on that part, I am still going to be taking a little bit of faith. This worker gets that done. Doesn't need plowing, doesn't need liming, so that's good. And speaking of fields, our sorghum, and that is ready to harvest tomorrow in September, so... Actually quite looking forward to that. Oh, uh, well, it's just starting this bit here. So, yeah, meanwhile, there we're doing that. I am going to get on with the mowing. I will see who gets done first. And there we go, that is the grass done. 
we did start windrowing it, but actually I thought, why windrow? Because we did say in the last episode we were preparing for the cows. Cows, sheep, and that, so we need grass or hay, TMR, which also requires silage and straw. Got a ton of straw over there. We've got the hay here. So I'm thinking we can not get the cows in yet, we'll get the sheep in, I think, in this episode, because we could. I don't know, put a sheep pen next to the silo. Because if you do that, that would be actually quite useful. Whether or not we can get the grass planted in this episode, I'm not too sure. Even if you do it in September, it'll still be ready to mow in November, so... Maybe just a case of we'll just do one load of silage. At the very least, in this field, we may get another field done as grass. Maybe, I don't know, one well, of these fields here, I think. So which one's the bigger one of the two? That one. So we can do. Thinking grass could be in here, and then this could be wheat or barley. Yeah, we can do that. Sure. Because then we still have that cut aside edge after we do the sorghum tomorrow. Ready for the end of the year. Man, that would mean... Yeah, that'd be... That's well, ain't that big as well when that's ready to harvest. Because when the soybean's ready... October or November, so... I need to work for a few little details, but obviously with the sorghum field, try to remember the differences between the two, or which one's which. We did talk about putting the cow's pen down over there. But one little section over here, especially when we clear the forestry up now, because we can clear the trees and that. The ground down here is relatively flat. It does start to elevate round about here, as you see it sort of goes up on a little dip, but sorry, aside from that, actually, so I'm thinking, if we get the cheaps now, that would be a good income to have, so we could say put something down there, and I'm not owns, but if you say push it back far enough, because yeah, there'll be enough space for the water and that. And 250 sheep we can have. The sheep pasture, that is nice, but that's quite large actually. <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah, a bit, bit of a big boy that one is. Or we can go with this one. It is actually quite small so it actually would help us better but nah you know what I'll stick with the pasture one I think the only difference is it requires water and that and that's not an issue for us we've got a 20,000 litre tanker that we use it for the greenhouses so a bit of extra work there not a problem as much as I'll try to get another plot of that now we're going to have to save for the sheep pens. Or at least one sheep pen and the cows, because we do need the TMR mixing facility, which there is one mod that I have downloaded. No, it's under factories, I think it is. If we scroll down to the end, we got the Silo King, so we've got the Silo King 40. Or the Psyche King 200, so I guess in that say smaller version, and that can make TMR. And I think if I remember exactly, that can make quite a bit of TMR. And also, if we say you put it here next to the silo facing this way, because also you will clear these trees up. At some point, we're going to buy this plot of land and this plot of land. 
This could be a little good animal husbandry hub, potentially. Because those chickens... Ah, uh, actually, that reminds me. Check on the chickens. Oh, they're nearly out of food. Oh, that was a good thing to check. But you've got one, two, three, four full pallets there. These are still set to sell automatically, so... I will keep that until next spring to always counter effects of how much money we'll be getting. That's got a little bit of fuel left still. Got four planks in there ready to be spawned. And a ton of planks as well in the sawmills, I think. Actually, how much is in there? Oh, where is it to? Which one is it? I should check on the used market. Animals. There we go. <laughs> I was looking for that, so. Yeah, 11,000 years to be spawned, so. We need to get that sorted, so. I think the best thing to do is a quick time lapse. Get it all done, and then I'll see you folks in a few moments.
some time later, we are done. So we'll get it set off on the worker. What is it saying in its uh, I guess we're gonna have to wait until it actually starts growing before we can fertilize that, but regardless, we are mostly done with our new plot of land. We got everything wind roads and about a quarter of it I'll say is built. And about a third of yeah, a quarter to a third. If I guess probably a more towards a third. But regardless, canoe is in, it's been rolled, and it's ready to be fertilized when it starts growing tomorrow. Hopefully, actually yeah, because does that have crop tires on the bridle? I'm not too sure if it's an option. Have a quick gander. Yeah, it does have narrows. And what's on it? Oh, it is narrow, so all we have to do is put narrows on the John Deere. And then we can fertilize the fields, so that's not going to be a problem. But yeah, we've got sheep now. As may be seen in a bit of an extended time lapse, it's just try to get everything done today so we can plow this field up and get grass in. Or at least that's the plan, but so let's go in. Let's get a couple of these. Grab the four or five we've got here and we'll see how much these take. Because we bought 250 sheep, and that was pretty much most of the money that we had left. We were left with 40 grand, so technically that's enough for the cow pen, but not for many cows, or if any. So, there we go. Okay, we're going to do four bells, that's fine by us. So now, let's see how much they take. That's one. That's two bells, three. Four bells it's took. I uh, will just top up the water here. Is it going to take all of the water? Yes. How much is that? Do we even dare want to look? Actually, it ain't too bad, actually, all things considering. That's what? Two thirds grass in there, grass or hay. Rather give them hay, you know, that bit more of a premium quality feed. Chickens are fine with food for now. Water almost full. Actually, I don't think it'd be much harm. Actually, can we cut this one down? There we go. Yes, we can. There we go. Just clear this area up a little bit. So that now is going to start to make us quite a bit of money there. Which I am looking forward to. Then we can make fabric, make clothes. Because that is a really good point to make money is with clothes. One of the more profitable productions. There we go, just clear things up a bit. Just a nice little dirt path. And then what, I think? Let's try... Put some more dirt in there. Can't really extend the path much further, but... Start looking now, just finishing this off a little bit. Just put a little track in. Try not to go too much into the other field if we can avoid it. Try to get nice and flush, but of course with our ploughing, wasn't as perfect. So at some point I will go around and literally nitpick this and get everything nice and squared because it 
really does bug me. I know it seems petty, but it's sort of that OCD tendency. Even though I don't have OCD, I do have autism, which the one, nice, the one that I got is Asperger's Syndrome, so yeah, it does really bug me. It's one of the aspects of me, so next we say plonk all this here. Just have a nice section. There we go. And if we say send that down from there. There we go. That is a nice boundary that is. That is actually really good actually. No, not too big, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well try blend that in if we can. Go straight on. And we'll get resty stumps cleared up at some point. But yeah, that is actually looking good. And just look at the farm in general, it is really coming along well. We got our next crop in after done our first harvest. Sorghum's gonna be ready tomorrow. Soybeans is gonna be ready in October or November, so really it is working out pretty well for us and I think that's one thing that may be worth adding if it's if it, pretty sure it's cheap enough yeah war tower we can have a little war tower here can't we sure there we go that's nice so in theory, if we go and reverse up, hopefully this works out. Alrighty then, so sorry to be a bit abrupt there. Uh, we had a game crash. And the best thing about that was I did not save anything at all. So literally spent the last four hours of redoing everything. And we did do a bit more. And the cause of it was to do with the sheep pen that we had. We got some parts loaded up, sort of, again we did this off camera now, whilst I was getting everything done, just smashing everything out. Also did a bit more, as you can perhaps see based on the tree line on the left, literally we went further back into that little forest section and got about double, at least double the amount of trees we cut down, I think until we did about 106 trees, but yeah, so the sheep pens that we first used was go down here, the extra large sheep barn pack. Can't remember who this was by, but place this down, I did it a couple of times. So had game crashing. I thought it was something to do with some vineyard mods vineyard mods I installed to hopefully get on the used market or buy when we do grapes and all this, but wasn't that? And so far, touch wood, be about half an hour or so of just lingering around, moving back and forth to see if to get the game to get the game to crash, and hopefully we're good now. So we went with the sheep barn, extra large. This was ninety nine grand. If we could come over here to the forest, we did should did to about here, and they just barely touch into it. So we didn't really need too much here, but like this section here, we claw this out, got rid of most of the stumps here already, and that led us to initially having, I think it's like 150 grand or so. Literally just hold a bunch of trees after to top up the sawmill. Because that's why we did only one trail load of logs, or like a, a partial load. This time we did about one two thirds load after oh no sorry one third load after I went to sawmill and we did about another two or so full trays worth of timber so literally they like, triple actually in fact of the timber we had so we've got 250 sheep this is a mixture of lambs and adult sheep Let's see if there's a difference in sizes Nope, not really, but 
Regardless, that's that. We've got six bells here already. These are mostly four bells. A couple are a bit empty. And in total, actually, we got 37 bells. Yeah, 37 or 38 bells. So when I said that we had 15, and that was about a half of it or so, or thirds, not far off. And hope don't know how long it's going to take for him to go through this, but we may need to look at getting more hay in that at some point. But regardless, that is that. A huge pain to get this all redone. And as you see, we didn't redo really much repainting work because we've literally got no money left whatsoever. Literally nothing. So, I'm just going to sell these planks now. We may sell some more in September, but depending on how much of money we can get in that, I may perhaps look at getting a pallet storage and store these. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't tip, don't, don't, don't tip. Yeah, that's probably because obviously it's not evenly loaded, it's all quite heavy on the front of the train on to the rear axle. But yeah, that was close. We already tipped this once. Don't pick it up again. So we got 30,000 years of planks. 5,000 and years of eggs, 1,000 years of furniture, not furniture, and 1,000 years of wood chips. So let's go and see how much this two net us. So I'm just going to sell the first bit. There we go, sell that. Nice, that's 86 grand, and that is a real huge help for us. Yeah, economy's on normal now, so I was just checking, we didn't accidentally touch that or something. But that is a real hefty income. Because if you look at the price of planks, so go to here, it's plummeting now between 2500 to 2000. I think what would be a good thing to do is around September, October time when it gets to about 2200 per thousand litres on average or yeah as soon as it hits about 2200 per litre that's when we may consider just storing it. Also on that we can store bells so that's a plus side for us. And in terms of equipment, we have some decisions to make because in this, when I'm redoing all this, I did use the fence quite a bit, and that is quite worn now. So yeah, we have enough enough money for another plot of land, and but I think at the moment we've got to save some money because we won't get cows and that in but yeah so speaking of the fence you see it is quite worn we'll see, we'll see how much it's going to cost us to repair it because the bigger the tractor the more the repair cost is going to be so of course we did buy it second hand so it is going to wear more now more quicker Alright, 10 grand. And actually, in fact, I thought it was going to be something like 20 grand almost. But yeah, that was a bit of a relief. But I'm still thinking over there where we've got the bells in that too. That section over there, we're just going to reserve that area for um, cows, two cow pens. And a chicken pen. Actually, how are the chickens doing with food? They're all good at the moment. I think with those chickens, yes, the feeding situation ain't great. You can't just leave it on end and not have to worry about it. 
but uh, it's one of those things. It's gonna have to work around with. So if I sort of do a path section now, so that we know where to stop, so I don't think we'll go with the big one. I think we'll go with this one, and then just a smidge over. So just quickly, just do. Let's do this section here. So that we know a boundary. Or not to cross. Let's get everything aligned. So that to create fields. Turn lights on because we are losing the light here, so just try to arc this around. That's the downside about not having a small plow, it's trying to do these finicky fine moves is a bit, yeah, it's a bit finicky, but once we get the uh, head and done, sort of the perimeter, we should be fine. But yeah, this section here, that could be cows first of all. Why not we get another sh chicken pen or what? I'm not sure. But how far over do we need to go? Because we're going to here, cows. If we go for that. That's going to go there. So we need spaces and all that to run up between these two trees here. Then if we go to here, so this should cut off where this tree is, so if we go up to about there, give myself a bit of extra room to work with. We can go a bit further over, again it's not going to be too much of a worry for us because why not we get cows in this year? When these sizes, so we've got hay, we've got straw. Potentially, we could do cows this end of this year. So we we'll go up here, and there we go. So yeah, so quick get his head and done, get the rest of this done, and then I think we'll end the episode there. I think. It's the last bit of how we've done on this field and this was a great investment especially with the fact we got it on a bargain price I just do love the, the mechanism of it just folding up and just the sound as well so it goes over and that rests on top 
and that is you done until we start getting over the plot of land. And just like that, the sun has set it. Oops. Don't pay attention to your sunset while you're driving, folks. So we'll just get this parked up over here. So tomorrow, we're going to be harvesting the sorghum. So we can get the combine ready. Get a trader. Got a place somewhere here. And again, we'll put this into the silo. I doubt we'll do anything in terms with setting it. I end day, we'll see where we are in the winter now. See how much money we got, see how much money we need for any expansions. Because I think, especially now with the sheep and that, we do need like one, like full one dedicated grass field all year round. Whether it be a plot sized one or a small one, I'm not too sure. The only way you see is find out is how long that. He asked for the sheep and how much it consumes. So, well, on that note, that's where we're going to leave it today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button, feel free to comment down below. If you want to share with them, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, it's be fun around the extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.